Back to school season is a little wild. Suddenly you've got all kinds of messy syllabus, a bunch of old readings, lecture slides, all flooding in as PDFs. And before you know it, your desktop is a mess and nothing is where it should be. That's a great moment to begin using a few quick PDF hacks. They will help you keep your stuff organized, clean up file sizes, and even mark up readings without printing anything. No worries, I don't plan on gatekeeping anything here. In this video, I'm going to show you five tools inside PDF Element that have made life way easier, especially since everything's digital. So if you're juggling PDFs from five different classes and your folder's starting to look like a junk drawer, make sure to stick around. These tips will help you out. It's almost time to get back to your student duties, but does your documents folder look like a graveyard of PDFs, lecture slides, lab notes, that one syllabus you never opened? It's all still there, takes up your space and makes zero sense. But make sure not to let them pile up. Here's a better move. Combine those PDFs into one clean file. You'll finally be able to keep things organized and you won't have to open 12 windows just to find your week two notes. Open up PDF element. Click combine in the quick tools tab and just drag your files right in. You can toss in your PDFs, Word documents, even screenshots, whatever you've got. Tick the box that says create table of contents from bookmarks, then hit apply and you're done. You have one neat PDF and way less chaos. If you're looking for easy student PDF organizing hacks, this is the perfect place to start. All right, let's talk about another struggle no one warns you about, giant PDF files. You download one research paper and suddenly your laptop fans start sounding like a jet engine. I think we've all been there. Maybe you're trying to upload or email those files, forget about it, they either take forever or they flat out just won't send. That's why I have to mention the compressed PDF tool in PDF Element. It's honestly one of the best PDF tools for students who are tired of files lagging or eating up all their storage. Open PDF Element, head to the Tool tab and click Compress. Choose from the compression levels, low, medium or high. Click the gear icon for advanced settings, adjust resolution, data removal and compression scope. Then hit Apply. Your file is going to shrink down without looking like a blurry mess. Whether you want to upload it to a portal, send it to a classmate, or just free up space, this one saves some serious time. If you're someone who wants to study but still ends up squinting at your readings like what did I even highlight here, this one's for you. Reading a PDF is fine, but actually studying from it is a whole different struggle. You need to highlight, underline, make notes, draw arrows, all that stuff you do in a physical notebook. Click the comment tab. You'll see highlight, underline, strike out, pencil, text box, call outs, click and drag to mark things up or drop comments. Right click to change properties, colors, opacity and styles. Lock notes in place to avoid accidental moves. And use filters to sort or hide comments. This will make your notes way easier to review when exams hit. Okay, now here's a classic student struggle. Your professor gives you a PDF, but you need to actually do something with it. Edit, copy stuff, turn it into a presentation, Yes, that is the secret recipe for getting into a formatting chaos. You'll probably try converting it online and suddenly your layout is completely ruined. Half the text is gone and you're retyping everything at 3 a.m. in the morning. That's why I have to let you know about the convert feature in PDF Element. You can literally turn your PDF into a Word document, PowerPoint, Excel spreadsheet, or just plain text. And it keeps your formatting intact. Head to the Convert tab. Choose your output, Word, PowerPoint, Excel, or text. 
If the PDF is scanned, PDF element will suggest OCR automatically. Run OCR before converting to preserve the content. This is essential if you want to reuse class notes or make your project slides look good without starting from scratch. Which leads us to our fifth and final hack. And honestly, this one's a game changer if you've ever dealt with scanned textbooks or old notes. You open the file, try to copy a sentence and realize it's just an image. No highlighting, no searching, nothing. That's where OCR comes in. It stands for Optical Character Recognition but really it just means make this thing usable. Open a scanned PDF. PDF element will usually detect and prompt OCR, or go to the tool tab and click OCR manually. Choose edit or searchable mode, pick the language and then click apply. Now you can copy, search and annotate the text like any normal document. This is a huge time saver when reviewing scanned class notes or exam papers. If you're still typing things out from screenshots, please stop, the future is here. And there you go, five easy back to school PDF tips that we prepared to help you upgrade your digital workspace this year. If you found any of these useful, give this video a like, subscribe for more student friendly tech guides and drop us a comment if there's a PDF struggle you'd like us to help you with. And of course, if you're ready to try these features yourself, Download PDF Element from the link in the description. It's free to start and it's really easy to use. I'll see you in the next video.